What's up, folks? I'm Frank Daniels of Evolve Athlete TV. Today, I have a phenomenal core exercise for my good buddy, Rick Caselge, and all of his subscribers over at Exercises for Injuries. Now, this core exercise I have to show you today is so great because it does multiple things at once, specifically work your midsection and also improve your joint health. That exercise is called the 90-90 inline chop. Now, you probably know the 90-90 position. I'll show it to you. It looks like this. One knee in the floor, okay? 90 degrees on the back leg. So my knee's located directly under my hip. 90 degrees is the angle on the front leg. The ankle is located directly under the knee. And you probably know already, I'm gonna squeeze my glute. I'm gonna get tall, okay? Push the top of my head towards the ceiling and breathe into my belly. Okay, when I do this, I get a phenomenal stretch on the front of my hip, help balancing my pelvis, okay? Working my core at the same time. We can do multiple exercises from the 90-90 position, which is why it's so valuable. Today, I'm going to bring this move in line and show you a chop or a lift. Okay, Depends on uh, you know, what angle we're coming from, but basically, it's this diagonal movement here. With this in line 90-90 uh, position, here's your normal stance here where I have like train tracks. My front leg is on the line of the left side train track, my left, and my right leg is on the line of the right side train track. So I have this action coming from my hip, knee, and ankle on both sides. Now I'm going to take that and close it down. I'm going to close down that space by putting my front foot in line with my back knee. So I just step down to a tight rope. All right. And once I get there, my core has got to work tremendously hard to be able to keep me centered. Right. I got to keep my core tight in order to avoid falling left or right. Now, the first level of this exercise, for some of you guys, it's going to be enough just for you to sit here and work on your diaphragmatic breathing and be able to master this position. Get nice and tall and be able to hold this with your core. You can see I'm almost teetering left and right, so it's quite challenging to be able to do this. So don't be afraid to just, here's your level one, just master this because it'll be plenty for a lot of you guys. Our next level will be now to chop, okay? So what I'm going to do is ball up my fists, I'm just going to use my hands. I'm going to reach for my bottom hip. I'm going to come across my body diagonally and reach for the corner of the ceiling there. Down towards the bottom hip, reach for the corner ceiling there. Okay? Breathing in as I come down, breathing all the air out as I come towards the ceiling. What I'm working on with these chops or lifts okay, is shoulder movement on top of a stable midsection. So tight stomach. And I'm moving my shoulders, but everything below it is staying stuck in place, okay, like it's cemented in place, just moving on top of that stable base. Next level, I can add a medicine ball. So I grab myself a ball, same thing. Reach for that bottom hip, nice and tight in the midsection. Breathe it out as I come up. Reach for the hip. Tighten that midsection. Breathe it out as I come up. Again, working diagonally across my body. If I want to add yet another level to this, okay, which you don't see pictured here is a cable crossover machine. I can set up to the side, okay, or a cable crossover machine laterally, okay, right next to me. I'm going to grab a low uh, hand cable attachment and now work across my body in this diagonal fashion. Same thing, okay, I can adjust the weight until it's appropriate for me. All right, so I gave you four levels. First level, just hold this in line position. Second level, body weight, use the hands. Third level, Use the medicine ball, fourth level, add a cable machine, okay, a cable handle, and work across your body diagonally. Again, tighten this midsection, get tall as possible, moving my shoulders on a stable base. With this exercise, I can improve core function and improve joint health at the same time. You're thinking eight to 12 reps per side, two to three sets, and that'll give you the benefit.